All right, right now in the five series, we're going to look at five jazz male vocalists. All right, we've um we did a couple of um videos on the ladies. Now we're going to look at some of the guys. All right, and we're going to kick it off with with Frank Sinatra. Come on, old old blue eyes. I haven't I haven't mentioned Frank yet, um, and I haven't mentioned Count Basie yet. Um, I don't own many Frank Sinatra records. I've got a record that he did with um. Job, Job Beam. I've got two records he, he did with Jobim and this record that's pretty much it but he's still a legend and I do have his playlist in my Spotify and on this record he's with the great Count Basie who is overlooked he is legends of the legends and he's on the Mount Rushmore of, of jazz and look at this cover so warm so cool Frank's like Count you ready and he's like ready yeah Frank I was born ready come on man Sinatra and Basie, legends of the legends. Now moving forward, Leon Thomas. Now Leon Thomas, he brings a, a smile to my face. He's kind of a, a, a conventional jazz singer. Um, his most famous track is when he is when he um he sings on he sings the creator has 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 a master plan on um the Pharrell Sanders album. But he burst into yodeling. That's kind of his thing. He would yodel too, and it and it, it became kind of a thing for him. I don't want to say a shtick because it's more than a shtick, but it but it became a thing for him. But Leon Thomas, it's not not even but because it's because it's not a negative. It's just a thing that that he would do that he like patented and locked down. And Leon Thomas is the man. He had a beautiful soulful voice a true jazz singer but he'd yodel now and again like <laughs> it was one of those things mark murphy i've got a lot of mark murphy albums uh, i just pulled this album because for some reason his face is not on a lot of his 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 records and this is one of the few records that i have of his that has his actual face on it and um mark murphy's like a beautiful kind of hip jazz he's like the hip jazz lounge singer um He's, he's, he's really cool. When, when, when I was younger and growing, growing up in London, we'd go to this party on a Sunday afternoon at this venue called Dingwalls and they play like deep jazz fusion, deep jazz funk, and they play like Mark, Mark Murphy records. And one day Mark Murphy showed up and he went and penned a record called Dingwalls as a homage to that afternoon or that evening that he showed up. How cool is that? And Mark Murphy's the man. We can't overlook Mark Murphy. Les McCann. Now, now Les McCann, he may be better known as a musician than as a vocalist, I think, maybe. But he's a really great vocalist. Um, compared to what will be maybe his most famous tune, Nike used it in a commercial many years ago and it's become um, a prominent, a world-renowned tune since. And this is an album that I pulled. This is more of like an R&B flavoured jazz album but it's got a track on here called um how can you live without love which is a london rare groove classic so we're bringing up les mccann too and we're rounding it off with johnny hartman the smoothest most soulful deep bluesy maybe a baritone i don't don't know if i can put his i'm not an an, an expert on different um types of male voices but it's got a beautiful soulful voice and he's one of the most beautiful singers you would ever hear. This is a great album with John Coltrane and Johnny Hartman. And there's a track on here that the Far Side sampled for Pack the Pipe for my hip hop heads out there. Come on, five male vocal artists, high five recluse, good five records. We're getting into it. <laughs> 